This is BBC News. The headline's at 11 o'clock. The government is set to pay out hundreds of thousands of pounds in compensation to a number of former detainees held at Guantanamo Bay. Well, hello, very good evening. And the breaking news tonight is that a, a lawyer connected to the Guantanamo Bay detainees has, or to some of them, has tonight confirmed that the government has settled a case brought by a number of men who have alleged that the British security services were complicit in their torture. Several millions of pounds are apparently set to be paid out to the men. Uh, a statement will be made in the Commons tomorrow. Let's go to our political correspondent, Ross Hawkins. Ross, how much do we know about these settlements? We know the government will confirm them tomorrow that basically it has taken the decision to settle this without going through a court case. Why has it chosen to pay millions of pounds to former detainees at Guantanamo Bay, something which it obviously wouldn't do with too much enthusiasm? for a number of simple reasons, principally that if there was a court case, it in itself could cost tens of millions of pounds a year, but also it would risk the disclosure of sensitive documents that relate to the way the intelligence agencies work and that the government does not wish to be placed in the public domain. One senior source has told me in the last hour that almost 100 intelligence officers were engaged in preparing for these legal cases. The government wants to get beyond that. It wants to get to a, a judge-led inquiry, which was announced by the Prime Minister in the summer, that will look into the rights and wrongs of these cases in general terms, of what the intelligence agencies were doing, whether they were acting appropriately. What we will not have, though, is a court case, an individual testimony from the individuals themselves. They will receive, in short, the taxpayers' money and they will fall silent on the matter. OK, Ross, thank you very much for that. Ross Hawkins there with that moving story tonight and a statement in the Commons tomorrow.